Hello everyone, thank you and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zolu Adeni and in today's video I will be talking about another three components that you will find in a research proposal. I will be talking about the research objective, I will be talking about the research questions and I will be talking about the problem statement. Again, um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and do follow me on my Twitter handle. Um, so, in my previous videos, I took time to explain all of the nitty-gritties that come with uh, a research proposal. And uh, in describing what a research proposal is, I mentioned about the various components of a research proposal. And so we'll be looking at three of those components um, side by side. The first one is the research objective. What is a research objective in a research proposal? Simple. The question is, what do you want to achieve in your study? Why is your study so important? What exactly is your ultimate goal in your study? The beauty of research objective is that it gives you the opportunity to be very specific, straight to the point, simple and clear. So your objective cannot be bogus, it cannot be ambiguous, it cannot be haphazard. Your objectives must be simple, straight to the point, and completely connected to your research topic. So when you think of your research topic, another point that you must remember is what do I want to achieve in this study? So what you want to achieve in the study, those are your objectives. So the objectives must be clearly stated. They must be specific. The specificity of your objective is non-negotiable. So when you think of your research topic and you think around your objective, number one, is it to investigate? Is it to understand? Is it to analyze? Is it to assess? Is it to identify? Is it to evaluate? These are catchy words that clearly describe your research objectives. So talking about your research objective, you must know the specific things that you want to achieve. If you want to move from point A to B, the question is, what do you want to achieve about that movement? Do you want to understand the pace with which you move? Do you want to understand the, 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 the speed with which you move? Do you want to understand the factors that can hinder your movement? Do you want to understand or do you want to evaluate or do you want to assess or do you want to identify? These are words that you use in your research objectives. So your objective must be simple. The simplicity of it does not invalidate its potency. It is not for it to be overly ambiguous or lumped up. No. You keep it straight to the point. Okay, so I will touch on the objectives again, but let me go quickly to your research question. Hmm. I have a very interesting explanation for that. Your research question is actually the opposite of your research objectives. That means that if you flip your objectives the other way around, they simply become your research question. So that is what I called the siblings. They actually go together. Why? Because you cannot have seven research objectives and for instance, three research questions. For every research objective, there's a corresponding research question that goes with it. Okay? Now, talking about research question, you must remember that for every question you ask, you must provide answers to them in your research. So you don't want to ask a question that you are not probably going to have an answer to. So 
Again, why is that so important? Because you don't want to do a research. You don't want to carry out a study that does not have any end whatsoever. There must be a clearly defined objective as to why the study is being conducted. There must be a carefully written question of what you want to answer at the end of the study. So your research questions and your research objective, they are very powerful. You must not treat them with levity. Even though both of them, for the sake of argument, can take less than a page. It does not invalidate the fact that they constitute one of the most important aspects or component of your research proposal. Reviewers will look at your objective and say, does the student understand what he or she has written? Is there a connectivity between your research objective, your research questions, and your research topic? You always demonstrate critical thinking attributes when you are developing or writing this component. So your research objective gives you the opportunity to be very specific. Your research question allows you to show that at the end of the study, these are the questions you are going to provide answers to. All right, so let's move to the third component in this video, your problem statement. Hmm. The problem statement is actually a very interesting one. I like to break it down into these three subsections. Number one, the problem statement is an opportunity, again, for you to show the ideal. There will always be the ideal path of a problem statement. What is the ideal thing? The ideal thing is, for instance, according to the United Nations Charter, education for all, Com free compulsory education for all. That's according to the UN, for example. But what is the real thing? The real thing is that there is no education for all because there are so many factors, conflicts, poverty, lack of infrastructure, and so many things. So, you want to show under your problem statement the ideal thing, the ideal situation. And you want to show again the real situation. So you show the ideal, you show the real side by side. And then you move to the third subsection of your problem statement. That is the consequence. In other words, how is your study going to move from the real situation to the ideal situation? So the problem statement is actually very interesting. Again, we are talking of a paragraph, but a paragraph that shows three distinct sub-sections. What is real, what is ideal, and what is the consequence? In other words, how is your study going to move from the real to the ideal? So, the, the research proposal, as far as research objectives, research questions, and problem statements is concerned, is actually another opportunity, is another avenue for you to completely show that you know what you want to get out of the study. It gives you an avenue to be very clear, specific, and straight to the point. Again, I will want to encourage you, feel free to engage with me, um, either through this channel by asking questions, or you can follow me on my Twitter handle and ask me questions relating to this video. I will see you in other subsequent video where we'll be again talking about some of the other components of a research proposal. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.